Hi everyone, it's Dave here. Welcome back to the channel and for another cycling adventure. This morning, I'm on the border between England and Wales, just outside the town of Chirk. And today's plan is to head over the border into Wales towards the town of Clancothlan on what will be very much a ride of two halves. I'll get on the bike and I'll tell you all about it. Come on. So for the first part of the ride, I'm heading along the Clangothlan Canal and I'll be shortly crossing the Chirk Aqueduct, which will actually take us from England into Wales. Once I'm into Wales, I'll then be leaving the canal behind for a while as I'm going to cut the corner of the Vale of Clangothlan and I'm going to climb around 900 feet of ascent right up to the summit uh, overlooking the Vale. Once I uh, reach the summit and after I've got my breath back, I'm then going to descend down into the Vale of Clangothlan and eventually into the town itself where by that time, I'll probably need a well-deserved cup of tea. The second half of the ride then should be fairly more straightforward. I'll be uh, coming back towards Chirk along the Clangothlan Canal and I'll be passing along the way over the Pont Casusta Aqueduct. And uh, I apologise in advance for uh, butchering any Welsh place names in this episode. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later, but first of all, I need to get my head in the right place because uh, very shortly I'll be doing a pretty huge climb. Let's go. This is the Chirk Aqueduct and marks the boundary between England and Wales. Well, it's starting to rain as I cross the border into Wales and I've just stopped for a moment to marvel at this wonderful piece of uh, engineering that is the Chirk Aqueduct. This was built by Thomas Telford and completed in 1801. Later on, they then built a parallel railway viaduct. So you have these two really impressive arched structures over the valley here. It's quite a sight and quite high too. Uh, speaking of heights, I need to uh, stop hanging around, get pedalling and start tackling this climb out of Chirk towards Clangothlan. Halfway up the climb now. Oh, this is tough going, but uh, let's keep grinding it out and uh, hopefully I'll see you at the top.
Now that was quite a climb, uh, but I've made it to the, the summit, the highest point of the ride. I'm now 1,200 feet above sea level, overlooking the Vale of Clangothlin. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this next bit because it's a nice downhill off-road section towards the town. Right, let's do this. Wow, that was quite a technical descent there. But I made it down in one piece and now I'm enjoying this lovely valley which will take us into the town of Clankothlan. Can I get a tea, please? Uh, yes, please.
So a quick stop for a cup of tea in Clan Gothland, and now I'm heading back east along the canal towards Trefo Basin, which will lead us towards the famous aqueduct, which I'm not going to pronounce at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to head across the aqueduct shortly, although I won't be able to ride, I've got to push the bike, but still it's going to be quite a spectacle. And there are only railings on the towpath side, on the actual canal side, it's a sheer drop, so uh, it's not one for the faint-hearted or if uh, you're scared of heights. Let's go and check it out. The Pont Casusta Aqueduct was constructed by Thomas Telford and it was completed in 1805, taking 10 years to design and build. It's the longest aqueduct in Great Britain, spanning 18 arches, and it's also the highest aqueduct of a canal anywhere in the world. Well, this is definitely not for the faint-hearted. I'm at the highest point on the aqueduct now. And as you can see, there's the towpath here and the, the trough containing the canal itself. And on that side, no railings whatsoever. So it's just a sheer drop down to uh, the valley behind. And uh, it's not that much better on this side. We've got some railings, but uh, look at the drop here. Yeah, I don't really want to loop down. I think I'm going to just keep pushing my bike along to the end and get gone. This is too high for me. I mean, even though it's frightening me to death, 
it's an amazing feat of engineering when you consider it's over 200 years old Well, my plan was to put my light on my bike and push through the tunnel. I uh, thought it might be quite cool for the video, but the lady in the high-vis jacket just said to me that there's 400 ramblers coming the other way sporadically, so uh, I'd probably get halfway through and be met with a load of walkers coming in the opposite direction. And I thought, might not be the best idea with a bike. So what I've done is I have uh, come up off the canal and I'm now going to uh, go along a parallel road which will lead me back to the aqueduct at Chirk. back across the aqueduct for a second time as we head back into England. Well, I've made it back to England and uh, completed the circuit. It really was a ride of two halves, that. Uh, the first bit was such a such a climb, 900 foot of elevation, and uh, my legs are certainly paying for it now. Uh, it was rewarding to have that technical, rocky mountain bike descent into the Vale of Clangothlan, and uh, I enjoyed the second half of the ride back along the canal to Trefoil Basin and I'm going to try one more time Pont Castlustla Aqueduct I'm so sorry Welsh people I'm never going to say it ever again I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, ride and uh, this cycling adventure if you did give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more cycling adventures I'm Dave and from the border between England and Wales, goodbye.